All that plus Joe's guaranteed forecast. The news starts right now. And first on Fox, a large fire at a scrapyard in Stark County. Every fire department in that county called in to help. Good evening. We're glad you're here tonight. I'm Tom Powell. An exciting discovery to tell you about in the world of medicine. Fox 28 breaking news. And we have an update for you on the breaking news we first told you about at the top of the newscast. When there's this much debris, it's all hands on deck. In fact, there are guys out here right now who are with the Bureau of Sewers, helping out the guys with the Bureau of Streets. The car is now parked here in the police department parking lot. We're told investigator Johnson wasn't allowed to take it home. And I'm Tom Powell, live in South Bend's hard hit River Park neighborhood. The St. Joseph County Sheriff's Department is also gearing up for the snow. But I do have a bad back. Maybe car. that's why. Maybe Maybe. Oh, no. Maybe. We had to know, what is it about this guy that makes him so successful at tracking down impaired drivers? You eat at Subway a lot, <laughs> too. It's one of Tom's favorites. I've probably eaten the whole yoga mat. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And if you take a look over there, this is the window that the three people who were inside escaped from. Now, they are okay tonight. I'm happy to tell you that. But they and this whole neighborhood have a lot of cleaning up to do. Nancy Conrad sums up what she's seeing in two words. Good God. She watches as crews remove a giant tree from her house piece by piece. What's it like to see that? It's horrible. I mean, my whole life's in that house. She can't go back in, not yet, not that. until fire officials say it's safe. The dangerous work right now is left to the workers willing to go all the way up there to clean this up. I just hope they're all right. They scare me. Her prized antiques left inside, they're probably gone for good. But I have my, my husband and my son and my daughter are out here, and that's what I'm grateful for. Other neighbors are grateful, too, that the trees that fell in River Park didn't claim any lives. But, man, did they he, leave a mess. You guys, he's going to turn it, put it center in the street. Kevin Dombrowski is a super with the city. His crews have gone from one street to the next, clearing the estimated 1,000 trees that fell during Sunday's storm in South Bend. Uh, how long do you think it's going to take? It's hard to say. Uh, we're doing everything efficient and safe as possible, so it's really hard to say. When there's this much debris, it's all hands on deck. In fact, there are guys out here right now who are with the Bureau of Sewers, helping out the guys with the Bureau of Streets. And once we get everything all cleaned up, eventually, then we'll bring uh, our uh, sweepers through. For Nancy Conrad, though, it won't be as easy to just sweep up and move on. In fact, she's still missing two cats who were inside when the storm rolled through. And the only possessions she has access to right now are literally the clothes on her back. What do you do now? I don't know. Look for a place to live, try to get what we can salvage and start over again. Hmm. Well, Conrad tells me that she does have insurance, so there's that silver lining. As for the crews, they've asked me to ask you to be patient. They say they are working just as quickly as they can. You know, a lot of businesses in this area also lost power, including several fast food restaurants. Take a look. That can be a major problem for the owners, of course. Just think of all the food that's in the... Well, a few weeks back, this post on the Elkhart County Sheriff's Department Facebook page caught our attention. It talks about Lieutenant Casey Lehman, recognizing him for making 100 DUI arrests in 2013. So, we had to know, what is it about this guy that makes him so successful at tracking down impaired drivers? To find out, we were granted access from the squad car to the jail to ride along with the night watch. Three Adam, 2.30 dispatch. You don't make 100 impaired driving arrests in a single year. Power off. By sitting on the sidelines. Lieutenant Lehman, Sheriff's Department. That's not Lieutenant Casey Lehman's style. You have a passion for this. Yes, I do. That passion isn't lost on his colleagues. He's fired up about everything. <laughs> Just ask Under Sheriff Sean Holmes. He's got such a skill at spotting the impaired driving. 1076 to the 1055. He understands the importance of, of getting those people off the road. We were invited to see that skill in action on a busy Saturday night. One of the first calls takes us to Goshen. A caller tells dispatch they suspect a driver leaving a gas station is drunk. When we get there, officers give Lieutenant Lehman the all clear. False alarm. All right, see you, thanks. We'll find somebody eventually. It's just a matter of time. Tonight, the lieutenant is part of a seven person team four from the Sheriff's Department, one officer from Wakarusa, and two more from the city of Elkhart, all out as part of the Elkhart County Traffic Safety Partnership. Their overtime, paid for by grants from the Indiana Criminal Justice Institute. It's very important because it allows us to work together and to com combine you, uh, combine our resources 
Lieutenant Lehman reminds me of a lifeguard as he works. Watch his eyes, constantly surveying the road like a lifeguard would a pool. He's conversing with the photographer and me, but you can tell his top priority is getting impaired drivers off the street. He's honed his skills during his eight years on the force. Is there a, a class on this or is it from experience? Just from experience. He concentrates on areas with a history of DUI related crashes. From this light to the next one is where we've had two fatal crashes. He spends some time driving, the rest sitting and observing. I usually give about each strategy about every 15 minutes. Carefully using his radar to catch speeders. And I can just click it on real briefly and shut it right back off so if somebody has a radar detector it does not pick up on it. But tonight, it's a driver Lehman says is going well below the speed limit that catches his attention. Kind of see how they go over to the right part of the lane, back over to the left part of the lane. When he pulls the car over, his top priority is safety. Put your vehicle in park! After talking with the driver. What have you smoked? Just some weed. Just some weed, okay. And performing a series of tests. Layman arrests the driver on suspicion of driving under the influence of a controlled substance, marijuana. DUI on my record. Yeah. Would suck. Yeah. You know what else would suck? What? Being dead because he crashed your car. That would suck too. Layman's work is far from over. He spends a lot of his night transporting the suspect to the jail, filling out paperwork and testing evidence. That's a positive test for marijuana. On this night, it takes him off the streets for about two and a half hours. By the end of the weekend, though, Lieutenant Lehman and his fellow officers have made 13 DUI arrests. In this county, we're very fortunate uh, to have guys like Lieutenant Lehman, but we're also fortunate to have our prosecutor's office to back us on this. Um, they, they are very strict on, uh, on impaired driving and they prosecuted as such. One arrest this night. Three Adam 230 dispatch. Thanks to a guy who has the drive to keep Elkhart County streets safe. We got an impaired driver off the street tonight, which was the target of what we were looking for tonight. And it's important to keep in mind that all suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Caught on camera has people debating and South Bend police investigating. Good evening. We're glad you're here tonight. I'm Tom Powell. And I'm Tracy Capelman. Well, these pictures were taken outside LaSalle Intermediate Academy on South Bend's west side. The guy who took them says the squad car was doing donuts as it dragged a pair of kids on sleds. Well, once the police department saw the pics, they started an internal investigation. Now they are calling the prosecutor's office and Child Protective Services. Tonight we hear from the man behind the camera. This is just right back here. Gary Morsaw points to a parking lot outside LaSalle Intermediate Academy on Elwood Avenue. He says he snapped these pictures Wednesday from inside his house across the street. It looked like they were having fun. But then after I took the photos, I got a little more upset when I seen it was a, a city-owned car. Morsaw is right. South Bend police say yes, this is indeed one of their cars, pulling two people behind it on sleds. We're, uh, we're looking at Officer Will Johnson, who's a uh, investigator with our department. He's the individual who's assigned that vehicle in question. Captain Phil Trent says supervisors have contacted Investigator Johnson to see if he was the one behind the wheel. We don't know how he responded yet. Internal Affairs is now involved to see if Johnson violated, number one, the department policy, and number two, the law. The car was assigned to him, so it was under his control. The car is now parked here in the police department parking lot. We're told investigator Johnson wasn't allowed to take it home while police are looking into the matter. I'm told it will stay there until police sort through the pictures and the facts. They want to hear from witnesses. It's disappointing it's, and it's outside the, the, the realm of our, of our take home car program, our take home car policy. Back on Elwood Avenue. This went on for about an hour. Morsaw says he's disappointed, too, that a city-owned car was used for this. Why did you contact us? Because I think it's a misuse of taxpayers' money. Uh, we entrust that officer with that car not to be out playing with it. He wonders who paid for the gas and what would have happened if the car got stuck in a snowbank or worse, someone got hurt. You know, doing donuts, pulling around, you know, they'd fall off, you know. Did you ever, you saw them fall off? Yeah, they fell off a lot of times. Now, I asked Captain Trent what a patrolman would do if he saw you or I dragging kids on sleds. He said 99 times out of 100, they'd tell you to stop. Would you get a ticket? Well, he says that depends on the circumstances, like speed, for example.